mate. <laughs> good day? Yeah, good day. Good day. Good day. Yes, yes, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. We're here in the Forest of Dean to go racing. We've got some freshy Michelin Wild Enduro front and Wild Enduro rear. Was running two fronts, but decided to go front and a rear for this race because I thought it would be a bit, a bit more peddly, want something a bit faster rolling, but it was a bit sticky yesterday. Quite hard, there's quite a bit of pedaling here, which is uh, which is good, keeps you on your toes, see how the fitness is after an off season, but yeah, it was good. We've had lots of overnight rain, so I think that will spice things up a bit. There's lots of people coming back looking absolutely filthy, so we'll see how that is. I'm not off until 20 past one, so it's 10 o'clock now, I've still got hours until my actual start time, so just gonna have a chill. Also, big, big shout out to Steve, because I managed to forget my GoPro. Don't know how, but I did. Steve saved the day, so I can bring you guys with me on the GoPro, show you the stages, and um, yeah, gonna get kitted up now and go out for a few laps of practice, I think. I'm gonna do one of each stage again, just to see how they're, uh, how they're running, because I rode them, rode them yesterday as well, so kinda know where I'm going. This is the kind of consistency we're working with. Slop, slop, slop. Oh, stage one morning practice done. That is totally different to yesterday. Way grippier. Well, I'm about to crash in a box. Way grippier, but way harder on the pedals. The ground is so much stickier, which means you roll so much slower. And I think that's probably only gonna get worse, I would say, as it dries out more, but track's still cool. There's bodies everywhere. <laughs> it's absolute carnage, but lovely start line. Yep. Yeah. And, and you've got a nice bit of route there to go as well. Yeah, lovely. Just someone's, to catch. Someone slipped on it. <laughs> no, I'm not surprised. Take care. Oh my god. It's so slippy. Hopefully, it stays this wet. I hear there may be a bit of running in this one after yesterday.
riding it, is it going to make it better or...? Worse. I reckon worse. <laughs> I mean, it can't really... I suppose it get more rutted. Like, now is probably, as, in my eyes, as bad as it's going to get. It's not raining, so it's like obviously gone mega gloopy. Yep. So it can only, seriously from now, only get better. There's going to be more ropes exposed, but... Same for everyone, eh? That's yeah, what I keep yeah. telling myself. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone's suffering together. Is done and dusted i only did stages one two and four i believe yeah one two and four because three is an absolute bog but we've done the best we can at washing the bike off steve's lent me his last little bit of water and we've done our absolute best with it big thanks to steve he's sorted me out with the gopro and also helped me wash the bike well not helped me but lent me the water so big shout out to steve and yeah we're just having a chill now really got about an hour before I need to set off and um, up to the top and then yeah four stages of racing it is physical is the general consensus the stages are only real short but it's real tag eats dried out quite a bit and um, yeah it's real difficult to keep keep your speed and get going but it's good fun it's the same for everyone everyone's in the same boat struggling so yeah it'll uh, it'll be interesting come come racing but yeah looking forward to it ready for uh, ready for a suffer I suppose you might say because it's definitely going to be a suffer but it's good fun and we're out off to stage one had some lunch etc and now we're ready and raring to go well as ready as we can be had myself some Sudafed so we're peeled up ready and raring to go transition up to stage one now I think that will take about 20 minutes half hour and then yeah dropping into stage one try and go not as fast as we can smooth as we can because i reckon it would be very easy to just go way too hard and blow up the legs so smooth is fast that's what we're going for <laughs>
Her, the worst thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Just, just like trying to go in a straight line. Yeah. Let's just go off to the side. Yeah. One point, I was just like in the bottom, just stopped dead. Like I was just carrying momentum, and then a cross right, and I was just in the side. Stage one of racing. Done. I think I speak for everyone when I say that was horrendous. Made a couple of pretty big mistakes then. Stopped dead, but. I think everyone's probably in the same boat. It's so hard to go in a straight line because it's like this consistency everywhere. It's so, so claggy. And the tires just turn into like a ball of slime straight away. So it's real difficult to keep any kind of momentum, but off up to two and then over to the even more dreaded three and four. <laughs> That was so sketchy, wasn't it? Slow. <laughs> like pissed me off. I was going like one mile per hour at the time. Like I stalled in a corner and I tried to put my bike up and just uh, fuck. It's horrible, isn't it? As soon as you're offline, it's done. Even you at the gate was hard. Yeah, I don't know. You I don't even know what happened. <laughs> oh, there was a leech. So many people did that. All right. Like I was just going straight and it crossed just right at the start. It's ridiculous, it's so hard just to get going, isn't it? Like... Uh, as soon as you lose it, the momentum is just fuck. Yeah.
How bad is that? Well, stages one, two and three done. One more to go. That stage three was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> There's not one bit of it that goes downhill. You see the flat or uphill. As I'm sure you'll see on the camera, lots of breathing, lots of death. Pedaling extremely hard to go absolutely nowhere, but times are incredibly tight. So one more stage to go and then racing done. We've been going an hour and 40 minutes, so a very short race day, but one more to go and then either podium time or home time. And the beeps. Go get it. How you doing, Steve? <laughs> Been in the, in the sweat box, mate. <laughs> uh, oxygen. <laughs> Imagine me after an XC race. <laughs> good man. Well, good day? Yeah, good day. Good day. Good. Day done and dusted. Managed to put it on the top step, which I'm stoked on. Steve was third, George was first as well. So, mega day for everyone. All the boys are swinging off it. The youth of today need to slow down though because they're all going so, so fast. <laughs> but it's real cool to see. But yeah, managed to put it on the top step. Real close racing with me in second and third, I believe. So that's cool. Always keeps you on your toes. But yeah, mega stoked on that one. It's nice to have um, get, an, get another win. Clearly the Sudafed has been working because uh, managed to get me a win. So it, that's 
that's very nice to win an enduro slash XC race. There was an awful lot of pedaling keeping you on your toes, but that's what makes it fun, eh? And uh, I'm sure we'll be back for more. So if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to drop it a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. The winner of the Open Men Night Seniors is Lewis Brown. Yay! Yeah, Steve!